So they come standard now, I think RF, but you can, by, by um, uh, following a little guide, you can switch it back to IR. So IR just means that you have to like point and click. You have to, you know, sometimes if somebody's in the way, it won't work, that's infrared. Um, so radio frequency is something where you can point in another direction and it still works because the frequency is a little better, but that's not how this works. This needs uh, to be somewhere in the, um, in the vicinity of the box to work, but it works really good. It has several arrays in it that send the signal out. So um, that I think is uh, a really nice part of it. And let me see if I can pull up just a, an example of one of the, uh, we only have the simple one on, so I'll just open it. We're going to go to the home page, and so here's an example of a remote, it's called a simple remote. So on this one, it just has, as you can see, uh, channel up, channel down, uh, volume up, volume down, and then power. But these are all things that we can control um, with this, and it can be pretty powerful for somebody who hasn't had that ability. You know, somebody who maybe lost the ability to, to or they haven't been ever been able to use their control very effectively, um, if they could use it this way. Now, these pages, uh, so this software is called uh, Communicator. The one that we're looking at now is called Communicator, uh, Communicator 5 to be exact. Um, and the software, you know, uh, we can use eye tracking on the software, but we can also use direct selection or switch access, so scanning. So somebody could scan, you know, the buttons could be scanning and they could hit a switch. Um, so those are options as well. Okay, so we'll get off of this. Now, the other thing that we have access to with this device that I think is uh, pretty nice, uh, besides the uh, communication piece, which is the obviously the most important piece, um, uh, having the ability to, uh, for some people, using their cell phone um, is another thing that's pretty important. So um, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm just going to attach, I'm going to add one of the cell phone features just so I can show you on here um, what it looks like. So I'm going to add the text messaging and the phone call. So how, how this works is we, we would connect a cell phone. Now what I would suggest is anybody wanting to do this, connect a cell phone, is you're going to want to contact our technical support at 1-800-344-1778 and um, they can give you some direction as far as what type of cell phone is best. Uh, the iPhone will connect with this for the most part but it will only do phone calls so it can only send and receive a phone call you can't text message with an iPhone with these okay um, and that's because of Apple's Bluetooth it's proprietary and they make it a little tricky to um, connect to so um, it doesn't work for, with uh, the I um, uh, with the iPhone so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to look at um, something uh, uh, like a Samsung Galaxy that's going to be uh, where you're going to want to go to. Um, now, specifically what phone, what model, what series, that's where tech, tech support is going to help you out. We do list a uh, probably at least, I think, a half a dozen, if not more, phones that are compatible. Um, and those are updated pretty frequently. I think every six months uh, we make sure they update uh, that list. But if you have any questions, you can call tech support at that number, and they're open from 9 to 9, uh, Monday through Friday. And they'd be able to tell you, hey, um, you want to get this phone with these features in it. That way, when you go to the phone store, the person on the uh, at, at the uh, store should know what the heck uh, you're talking about, even if you don't. Uh, when you uh, talk to tech support, um, but when you get the right phone, um, like I said, a lot of the galaxies do work. Uh, when I meet somebody, if they have if they have a galaxy, we'll try it. Um, we'll see if it works right off the bat. That way, we know right away. Um, and then what happens is once you're connected, you get off of this so if let's just say that uh, I went into the text uh, there's some there's a um, on the home page there's one now that I've added called text messaging so when I access that um, in the text message what we can do is if I go to new message at the top I can then either add a recipient or I can add the phone number directly so you can add, uh, once you're connected, you, once your phone is connected to this, this acts just like your car. So this isn't a phone per se. Uh, it is a phone, but it's, it's a connection to your phone. So it's the middleman. It's kind of like your car. So your phone connects to your car. You're able to get that, you know, through your car, you're able to use the speaker. That's how this works as well. Um, so but with this, what you can do is you can dial the number out um, and then you can pull up a keyboard um, to also, whoops, I didn't pull that up, I'm sorry. You can pull up a keyboard to type in your message and then you can send off that message.
uh, by going down the bottom there. The other option uh, with these two is you can access, a lot of times people will access a phrase page. So they'll go into a phrase page that, I'm sorry, this doesn't have anything on it right now, um, but what you can do is you can put topics in there. So you can put like phone, and then inside phone you can have lots of phone topics like, can you hold on a minute? Um, it's Chris, I'm trying to compose a message. Just give me a minute to say what I wanna say. That way the person on the other line goes, no problem, Chris, I can wait for you. Um, otherwise, it's just dead air and you hear like, hello, hello. You know, it's happened a lot where I've been with um, with people who first set this up and the person on the other line is just impatient because they don't know, they might know it's John um, and they think he's in trouble. And it's not that, it's just trying to compose his message. So um, that's a good idea to sort of have a um, have something preset like that. Okay, okay, I think.